If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before moving on. We can begin to solve this question by looking at the following concept. In order to move a charge across a potential difference, we have to input a certain amount of work. And the work required to move a charge across a potential difference is equal to the product of the charge and that potential difference. Now we will note that we are moving this charge to infinity. It is assumed at infinity that the potential value is equal to zero volts. And indeed we can call that the final potential because that is the final location of this charge as we move it. Let's recall that delta V is the final potential minus the initial potential. We've already stated the final potential is zero volts. What we need to determine is the initial potential. Now, to do that, we'll notice that the eight microcoulomb charge is initially at this position right here. And at that position, there are these two charges that are producing an electric potential at that point. So we're going to calculate the electric potential produced by this charge and add it to the electric potential produced by this charge, that's going to give us the initial electric potential at this point. Notice we don't have to calculate the initial potential from the eight microcoulomb charge itself, only from the two charges that are located some distance away from it. Before we calculate the two electric potentials, it's worth finding this distance first because we're going to need it. Now, we know that this length here is six centimeters, this length here is three centimeters, so we can use Pythagorean theorem to get the length of this side right here. So here is the Pythagorean theorem. When you solve for C, you should end up with approximately 6.71. So that length right there is going to be 6.71 centimeters. If you have any questions about how we use the Pythagorean theorem there, please let me know in the comments. Now we can call the two microcoulomb charge A and the four microcoulomb charge B. Let's go ahead and calculate the potential produced by charge A and then also the potential produced by charge B. And of course to do that we don't want to forget the equation we use to find electric potential produced by point charges and that is equal to K times the charge divided by the distance. Notice for the charges, we had to multiply by 10 to the minus 6 in order to convert it into coulombs because the charges were given in micro coulombs. Also, notice for the distances, we multiplied by 10 to the minus 2 because the distances were given in centimeters and we need to convert them into meters. We'll go ahead and process these two calculations. So here are the two electric potentials produced by the two charges. We can actually add these together to get the total potential. We don't have to worry about adding any components or anything like that because these are not vector quantities. We just simply algebraically add them. And when we do that, we get 1.14 times 10 to the sixth volts. And that's going to represent the initial electric potential at this point right here. So now that we have that initial electric potential and the final electric potential of zero volts, as well as the charge Q, remember that's the eight microcoulombs, we can plug into the work formula. Notice again that we converted the eight microcoulombs to coulombs by multiplying by 10 to the minus sixth. When we calculate this work, we get approximately negative 9.08, and the unit of work is joules. So that is indeed the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.